Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Gus's brand new star power. So it looks like it actually will be a pretty good star power. So Spooky increases the damage output for a teammate by 25% for 5 seconds. So I feel like this could actually be a better star power than the other one. Even though you get some extra healing with the first star power. We'll, we'll have to tr test it out because it does seem pretty interesting. So before we jump into the video, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, jumping into the first game then. So testing out the brand new Gus Star Powers. So at least with Gus, it's actually going to be a little bit interesting to see which Star Power bet which one's better, right? Because the Sam one, I didn't even bother making a video on that because it was a bit obvious that the new Sam Star Power was going to be pretty trash. Even though I remember in the sneak peeks that I said that Star Power was probably going to be the better one. Boy, was I wrong. So I put the... Um, I put the super onto the crow and it's going to make so many brawlers be able to just dis absolutely destroy. Imagine if the damage stacks. Let me know in the comment section uh, below straight away whether the damage stacks because sometimes the damage doesn't stack with certain things. But imagine like a damage gear with this um, with this stop power as well. So you can see the little uh, damage bubble as well and it's just going to be amazing especially if you can cycle those supers pretty quickly like I am doing so far. It should be pretty easy to just get a lot of damage on. So not only will we be protected quite a lot by that shield, they're going to just absolutely melt as well. So I believe, okay, it looks like nobody is in here. So we're just going to hold the ball and wait for him to respawn. Nice gadget by Dylan here to get him all the way back. Going to pass this. Oh, no, complete. Okay, nice. Okay, so that's going to be a pretty bad thing as well. Obviously, you can't. <laughs> well, well, not like you can't, but you miss your super quite a lot with... Um, with Gus right now so maybe in the future it's going to be even easier to hit uh, the supers off because I just feel like that mechanic just has to change right because sometimes it can be really frustrating to just take such a long time to build up the shield and then it just completely misses but specifically from long range so we're going to pop uh, the super right here giving myself a little bit of a damage boost it's going to help me out a little bit 2000 damage that is pretty nice uh, damage right there onto the fang and I think we have some control I don't think anyone's in the bush yet nice BB is going really weak I have still got my ghost right here which can do quite a bit of damage I'm going to pop that and that's going to instantly kill the fang that is just such a broken mechanic with Gus, which is the main reason why I actually seem in competitive right now is that gadget. So, going to give this shield to Dylan. I mean, most of the time, I don't really want to give this shield to myself, as I've probably mentioned before in previous videos with Gus. I just feel like he's, uh, he's not really the best as damage output, so you probably want to give it a brawler. That is a lot better for something like that. So, I'm going to pass the shield again onto Dylan because he is pretty weak. Uh, I've got to look to try and push into the middle here. Dylan's going to get that... Wow, that was a 3k shot, but I don't even know what kind of shot that was. That could have even been like a 5k shot onto that brawler there. And it's going to be an easy enough win. So even on a map like Sneaker Fields, where, you know, somewhat uh, will probably be, seem to be a map that might be countering Gus, it's going to work out pretty easily. So that's going to be the first game with the brand new star power. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, so jumping into the next game. And so trying off against a tank this time around. I feel like tanks, although I did say somewhat counter goes, I feel like if anything, they actually feed him quite a fair bit. Like still, you can have some defensive me uh, mechanisms against the tank, specifically with the gadget, right? So that's going to be pretty much bull dead here. If not, I'm just going to pop this super on myself. It could actually be a really good combination if you actually use the super on yourself. I know I just literally said a few seconds ago to throw it onto a teammate, but if you want that instant damage boost, it can really help yourself out. So we're going to pop the gadget there. I tried to buy myself a little bit of time, maybe use two gadgets a little bit too preemptively, but last game, I didn't really have a chance to use my gadgets. So we're going to use the super onto Dylan here. He's going to get that uh, damage boost for, I think it's five seconds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for a gadget, honestly, that's quite, uh, for a stop house sorry that's actually quite a long time I'm gonna look to try and stay alive here i mean uh rico's gonna be pretty annoying to face off against crow's gonna jump on in I'm gonna use the gadget just to knock back that ball and dylan's gonna somehow survive I absolutely love to see it so now all about uh waiting for these guys to respawn and then trying to get a good goal opportunity so again i'm gonna give this super to fresh it's pretty hard to hit your teammates as well when everyone's got the speed gear right in the grass it's gonna be pretty hard to hit that super because everyone is just so fast looking to get some additional shots onto these guys See if we can get a peak shot onto that b unfortunately i haven't got uh i don't even know what this is called like whenever i think it's called i know it's not called spooky i forgot what it's actually i think it's called a kooky or something like that uh these ghosts uh, I was trying to get one to that beast so I could just instantly hit her with a gadget. 
Bull's gonna charge on in, but I think we should... Actually, no, no, we're just gonna have to keep control. I don't want to run over those that ghosts just... Actually, no, I was gonna say I've still got another gadget left, but I don't actually think I've got one. We're just gonna jump in here, get a lot of pressure. I'm just gonna pop this super now, because why not try and get some additional damage didn't really get too much off of it there but 1800 damage for a shot with uh which, which is so easy to hit like gus is is definitely really incredibly strong so we're going to pass this over to fresh so we can go a little bit aggro b is going to get taken down and there's definitely a ball lurking here yeah we've got to be pretty careful against this ball i haven't really got the dps to take him down quickly so we're going to pass this ball up to fresh he's probably no he hasn't got any stompers left so he can't really take us down one more shot away from our spooky as well first gonna butcher that jump just a little bit but going into overtime we should be having a decent uh time against this composition specifically because we have a b ourselves so we're gonna give the uh super to dylan because he should be popping off the most and getting the most damage there's just so many ghosts around the map right now and if i would have hit that shot against bull that would have been a, a pretty much an easy goal but we should be able to wow that's actually a really good move from the uh ball if i would have actually hit that shot though that would have been an easy easy super shot into the goal but uh hey ho we should be able to close this off into overtime anyway so i'm just going to pop the super myself so i can go a little bit aggressive 1700 damage per shot is pretty insane 2k there as well you yeah, absolutely love to see it. hopefully fresh and dylan can combine for a nice goal he's just going to slot that in anyway so that's going to be another game with the brand new star power let's hop into the next one all right guys so jumping into the next game then so actually struggling a little bit with gus on this map because i'm playing him lane uh but overall i'm having a lot of fun with the star power so from what i believe right now i think the star power is actually the better one maybe over time uh we'll uh, be able to tell a little bit more clearly but i think the star power is probably the better one just because the other one like i said specifically if you're using the build with the gadget that you can just explode the ghosts for like 1800 you're actually not going to have a lot of ghosts on the field being able to get much value out of the healing like whenever i play gus me myself i actually don't get too much value out of grabbing the heals like normally it's whenever i've actually killed someone i'm able to pick up one of the ghosts it's very rare that there's going to be a situation where i can actually pick up a ghost in a good um in a good amount of time so that's going to be another quick win let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the final game then so the best build for gus has to be the build which i'm using right now so uh, for me you have to use at least the uh, first gadget because that is definitely detrimental to how uh op you're going to be in the game right because without it you're not going to have that slaying ability 1800 is such a strong gadget at a click of a button it's so op just look at that just being able to increase your dps by quite a fair bit is really strong i think this star power is going to make it i think straight away from trying it out for myself is making it so whenever you're in an aggro position with gus you're going to be able to get a lot of damage onto the opponents and you're going to get uh you're going to cycle your super quite a lot specifically on tanks so i think it's going to really help uh in the ways that you normally get countered it's going to allow you just to pop off a little bit better unless of course someone is pretty low and you have to shield them up so Unfortunately, okay, we finally get officially down right there. But yeah, as I was saying, it actually might make uh, Gus a little bit better on his own, which is quite surprising. I thought I would just give it to my teammates a lot more, but I'm getting a lot more value out of actually preserving it for myself. But then it's just going to go in here. So aggro. That should be the fang down. And we should really go for this. Only a Shelly and a Edgar. Edgar's going to pop his gadget. That's going to get absolutely destroyed. We may as well wait for the uh, fang here. We can use, okay, the gadget just uh misses unfortunately okay i'm a super i tried to give the fresh but fresh is definitely going to be a hard target to hit right it's a crow with a speed gear you know that is literally a byron or gus's worst nightmare so thanks gonna be pretty weak bro but all three of the bros on the enemy side are pretty weak so hopefully we can get some pinches down and get these guys down gotta be careful of these egg over we've got no way of kind of like knocking him back or anything like that same goes with fangs so i'm just going to give super to the b here so she can get some additional damage again gotta be careful of this egg of this egg is definitely lurking pretty close gonna just gadget the fang just to get him a little bit weaker egg is pretty much in our faces yeah i mean this is just why it's so easy to kill an egg and just a shelly with super here gonna try and bait out that super should just hold it on for as long as possible though and uh, that's pretty decent play from her so these guys are just gonna cycle for the entirety of the game here but as long as we get like a double kill we should be able to score pretty soon nice shots landing from my teammates that's gonna allow me to actually survive here and there's no way these guys are gonna actually defend this somehow they actually defend it wow fang 
is uh well it was able to just clutch up so badly there but over time with against three tanks you gotta think we'll be able to uh just absolutely melt these guys the fang is definitely close to a super here we've got to be careful again of him just training onto us i'm just gonna pop the super on myself again so i can go even more aggro nearly 1.8k damage as soon as you pop that super is is actually insane because you get that boosted projectile speed with Gus anyways right uh yeah it's definitely going to be pretty strong on him on his own so that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed this one so let me know what you think of this stop power whether you'll be trying it out or whether you've even maxed out Gus yourself so that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time